Even those who know little about Jamaica know about Bob Marley, the most widely known performer of reggae music of all time. And now his son Ziggy wants to show his father in a different light, as he told ABC's Nick Watt. Oh, get up, stand up. Could you stand up for your right? He sings like his old man. Get up, stand up. And don't give up the He seems to channel Bob. I'm relaxed. I'm very relaxed. <laughs> I'm very relaxed. When you laugh, you look <laughs> frighteningly like your dad as well. <laughs> More than 30 years after the reggae legend died, the city of Los Angeles has declared a Bob Marley Day. Hey Ziggy, I'm Nick. How are you? And we spent it with Ziggy. Ziggy Marley's in the city hall right here. Cause all I ever had. Come on. Redemption song. Your father had a huge popularity amongst white people. Does that matter? Is it an issue? He had an issue with it um, in, in America because he wanted, he wanted um, African Americans to hear his message. How do you feel, feel when you play his music? When I play his music, I just feel like I'm playing my own music. It's a part of me, it doesn't feel strange. But if I'm doing a concert and I'm having a problem with the audience, like, you know, I just play a Bob Marley song. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to play a Bob Marley song and I'm good for the rest of the night. <laughs> I, shot the sheriff. I know, all right, I got them now. Let me go back and do some of my stuff. <laughs> Bob Marley died aged just 36 from cancer and Ziggy has taken on the mantle. Tomorrow. First, singing with his brothers and sisters in the Melody Makers. Life has come a long way. He's now a multi Grammy winning solo artist. His latest album is Wild and Free, in which he sings a song of freedom from marijuana. The fruits of the tree, the herbs of the field. Once in a while, I'll smoke herb if I feel like it. When I smoke, I feel like to read my Bible or to play a song. That's what, I, when I, that's what I feel like to do. I don't feel like something. Sometimes I feel like doing something else. But, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, that's, yeah, that's another story. Ziggy lives in LA with his wife and kids. His sister Karen lives here too. So you guys have how many brothers and sisters? <laughs> I know that's a complicated I think question. It's, I think it's 12. <laughs> the kids, the bandmates, the wife and the girlfriends agreed to tell Bob's story in a mammoth documentary called simply Marley, released this month. Yeah, this is my identity. I was the one that he would call to get women out of his dressing room. I became his guardian angel. <laughs> yes, my friend. Did you know his dad was white? I didn't know that he was discriminated against mm -hmm. within yeah, I Jamaica know, I because didn't know of that. that. Either. You didn't know that either? No, that was, yeah, I, I found out some things in the film that I didn't know, like that. Yeah. <laughs> his songs are, are not made for a certain time period or a certain style of dressing or dancing. His music is timeless. It's like I'm listening to this music and it's good now. It's good in 2050. Hey, this music is bad now. In, in 3030, this music is bad now. Every little thing is gonna be alright. I'm Nick Watt for Nightline in Los Angeles. Every